Growing up, I've always been better at video games than my friends. So to prove, once and for all, that I am in fact the best, I set up a tournament. A Birio Kart tournament. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Birio Kart is basically Mario Kart. Except you have to finish a beer by the end of the race. And you can't drive while you're drinking it. If there's any beer left by the time you cross the finish line, you automatically take last place. So with that, I had my friends Colin, Tyler, Mason, and I over for the Burial Kart Mountain Classic. <laughs> so, we're here with our Burial Kart competition. The winner will win. Rights to the Mario Kart shirt. <laughs> so from how I used to play in college, it's technically one beer per race. But, if we did that, we know we'd get about 20 minutes in before we got too drunk. So, for the first race, we did one beer per circuit, which is four races. I got off to a hot start with two first place finishes and finished my beer. But then Tyler snuck in and grabbed first on our third race. I was able to clutch the fourth race and take an early lead on the leaderboard. I would say that we were one beer down at this point, but we all had a couple beers while we were just waiting for the stream to start. So, technically, we're two, three maybe even four beers in at this point, which honestly was a terrible idea. You'll see why. So our second circuit was the big one. Four beers, four races. All right, this is the one that separated the men from the boys, and I got to choose our course first. It's Yoshi Circuit, come on. I naturally got off to a terrible start. <laughs> I was drinking slow, I missed an item, but this is my course for a reason. And about three quarters into the first lap, I was in first. I took a red shell hit to drink more, and by the end of the second lap, I was hot on Tyler's tail. I did get a little scared when I got lightning, and still had to drink at the end, but with a well-placed bomb, I secured that dub on our first full beer race. What? No! The second race was Mount Wario, Tyler's choice, and I did better at the beginning on this one. So part of the strategy of Beerio Kart is just drinking a lot of beer right at the beginning because you'll be farther back, you'll get better items, and you have a better chance catching up, you know, rather than trying to finish your beer by the end of the race. With this maybe being my best start, I was able to take this one pretty quickly and got my second win. Mason chose third and he wanted to do Moo Moo Meadows again. <laughs> Say less about Moo Moo Meadows. <laughs> Moo Moo again? So this one might have been my worst start. I mean, after two full beer races, you'd be kind of full too. After the first lap, I was able to get to about the middle of the pack, but Tyler wasn't first and he wasn't trying to give it up. I had a shot, but I hit myself with a fireball and ended up taking second by half a second. Oh, oh my god, dude, that was so close. You... By now, I was definitely feeling it, and Music Park is gonna show you the direction that I started to go. Not so great. I was crashing into walls, making dumb choices, and ended up taking second because of it. So now, Tyler and I tied for first. And looking back on it, I think I realized I messed up the points at this point already, but... What can you do? It's beer card, card, man. We need to chug a beer and whoever wins gets first place. Yes. <laughs> we all decided for our next circuit to do teens, and then just tally the total points between the teams. Since I had the most first place finishes, I was placed with Colin, who was doing the worst at this point. I won our first three races of the circuit, and even though Colin was in fourth, we were winning. It all came down to Rainbow Road, and Tyler was already done with his beer. As hard as I tried, I just couldn't catch up to that head start, and ended up taking fourth. And even though I took first overall in the circuit, we ended up losing by four points. Am I salty about it? No. Yes, okay, maybe a little. But there was still time. We still had one two-beer circuit left. I won the first and narrowly lost to Tyler in the second. Come on! Come on! Oh, yeah. shit! Oh, it was so close! I mean, at this point, it was basically between us two. Maybe it was the whole time, but probably. But in any case, I took another first in our third race. All I needed was one more win, and for Tyler to take seventh or worse, and you would not believe what ended up happening. I choked. Okay, I freaking choked on Dolphin Shoals. That eel, dude. It was bullshit. And Tyler won and he got the glory and this 
trophy shirt that the girls enhanced, which was an interesting choice. But still, let me tell you this. If we didn't do that team race, I would have taken first, right? Then maybe if I knew how to count, but what do you think? Do you think I should have won? I mean, should we do another Mountain Classic next year? Because I think I need a shot at redemption. Honestly, this whole thing kind of feels like a sham. I mean, I got too many first place to take second. That, that, that can't just happen. I can't let this go. So, I mean, if you like this kind of content, you want me to bring you more stuff like this, just like and subscribe. Follow my Instagram to see stuff I do on a daily basis, like the day after Birio. It was pretty rough. But, uh, I gotta tell you, you know, don't drink and drive, kids. It'll only lead to heartbreak. Out. Tie guy is the big word. Because you know how drunk we are. <laughs> you actually understand. <laughs> I'm just sad.